episode we are going to show you how to hash uh, a fingerling from first stage to the last stage uh, until it hashed uh, first of all uh, before you hash a fingerlings you have to bring out uh, uh, the fish and check uh, the sex of the fish to know if it's uh, female or male so in a short while i will let someone uh, lift this fish for me to show you the sex of this fish so that you can be able to know the sex just in case you want to hash your own fish so just hold on let let it be lifted up for us to know the, for me to show you the sex okay i hope you can see the sex this is a female uh, organ and uh, it's short uh, the male one is longer so you see how it flat so for you to know the female uh, sex of the uh, fish so this is a female now so we are good to go uh, they are going to put it back so uh, what next we are going to scale the fish to know the weight of the fish after knowing the weight of the fish now we will inject the fish according to the weight so let them put it on the scale so that I show you the weight of this fish it's on scale now uh, meanwhile you have to weigh the rubber first you have to set the uh, scale to the weight of the rubber so that it start from the zero it start from the zero here so before you put the fish inside for you to be correct on what you're weighing so this uh, this one now is uh, one kilo, one point eight kilo. That is one kilo, eight hundred gram. That is what this one come at. This that is what we have here, one kilo eight hundred gram. So this one kilo eight hundred gram, we will inject it. Uh, a mini gram of uh, mini gram of uh, nine mini gram is not up to one we're going to uh, inject it uh, 0 0.9 mini gram it's not up to one mini gram so because you have to share it into two as as is uh, uh, one kilo 80 800 gram so we are going to share it into two so meaning we are going to inject it 9 0 0.9 milligram that's what we are going to inject it according to the weight so after you inject it then uh, you keep it for at least 10 hours 10 hours before the it will be ready for you to but meanwhile we are going to take you through all those steps but this just for the four steps so we are going to take you through other steps so you just hold on yes uh, we have already collected the medicine uh, we just want to show you please uh, we are injecting it uh, in the night because uh, we want to we want it to be ready by tomorrow morning so we prefer night because I've already gauged uh, the 10 hours. Now is uh, a few minutes past 10. So definitely 10 hours should be uh, 6 or 8. So we have already gauged it. So by morning we are going to start hashing. But for a while now let us show you uh, where, the, where we measure the medicine. As you can see here, I think you can see uh, two. So uh, on the other line is uh, one. So one line again making it uh, nine. Nine, uh, uh, 0 0.9 ml. 
when you watch this you see that it's uh, 5 ml so this uh, meaning that 0 0.9 has to be after the one just uh, a, a line after the one so this is what we are going to inject on the fish 0 0.9 we're going to inject on the fish uh, for the process to start for you to be ready in the morning so i hope you are you will watch and uh, you can be able to do yours like as we have uh, directed you or inform you so that's the process of uh, hashing a fingerless uh, the first process uh, the first uh, process we have already explained so this is the second process so now we are about to inject the fish so bring the fish close so that we inject the fish. No, leave it on that. Right. So now, so now, uh, so now uh, you can see this is an angle how to inject it from. Just do it slowly, pump it slowly into the fish, just slowly, slowly, slowly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's no more that you have to finish all at one angle. You can, you can, res you reserve half so that it's start for you inject it from the other angle, just rub it. So that the medicine will not go out then you go to this side you put it and you push it slowly 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 until we finish so we have injected the fish so you rub it rub it Coolly, just rub it coolly after rubbing it so that the, the blood will not come out or the medicine will not come out. So we are done on, on injecting the fish. We are done. about to start the next episode, which uh, is uh, to remove the eggs from the fish. Right now, the fish is ready for us to remove the egg so we are like i told you yesterday we always like to inject them in the night and uh, remove the eggs in the morning so now it's morning and now it's uh, uh, just after eight so the egg is ready from 10 after 10 to after eight meaning 10 hours so we are about to remove the fish uh, to take it to where we are going to press the egg out after pressing the egg out then we'll add a spam but meanwhile i would like you to hold on and watch how the process goes because i just want to start from the beginning to show you so we're about to remove the this thing now the fish now so the eggs is ready uh, for you to know if the egg is ready you watch inside the water uh, if you watch inside the water you can see uh, some small small particles of the eggs that is coming out from the stomach i think you can see some of them here some particles particles you can see them here so that's how we know when the egg is ready because they will start coming out more slowly from the stomach for us to start hashing, uh, removing them 
and meanwhile uh, the egg must not touch the water the one you are going to do what you're going to do as soon as we remove it now we are going to clean the body and uh, hold the eggs and clean the bowl that we are going to use for the hashing clean it very well so that water will not go inside because anyone the water touches definitely has spoiled so we'll make sure water did not touch it so keep on watching you will see how it goes yeah remove it because we want the water out Have to bring it so that we go to where we're going to have it. Okay, this is where we are going to sit to uh, press the eggs out from the uh, fish. Right now, let me show you the bowl we are going to use. This is the bowl we are going to use to remove the eggs. And uh, you can see that the bowl is fully dried. We, 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 we washed it with water and we used a, a napkin to clean it, clean it dry. So we we'll put the bowl down. Then, uh, then we are about to go. As we sit now, we're about to go. So, uh, we are going to hold the fish on the head. First, we use a napkin to hold the fish on the head. So, we use the napkin to hold the fish on the head, like the way she did. So, now, uh, hold. Okay, uh, right now we are about to press the eggs. As you can see, the eggs is coming out. So that is how it comes. Then we we'll press it. You gently press it here. Gently press the eggs. You gently press the eggs from the stomach. Uh, the eggs is ready like this because we injected it uh, over prem yesterday night like uh, on the previous video how I showed you how to inject it so after injecting it from 10 hours the egg will be ready like this for you to press it and you must follow the process which I I, sh I just showed you so for you to remove the eggs this is the first thing we are going to do removing the eggs now the eggs you will press it gently gently on the stomach for the eggs to be out press it gently 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 pressing it because there is blood coming out
Hello, uh, right now we are going to operate on the mail. So, we just want you to see the sex, to know how the mail is. So, we are going to turn it to show you the sex. Uh, like I told you yesterday about the sex of the uh, female, uh, this is the sex of the male. You see how long it is. It's very long. Uh, this shows that it's a male. When you see it long like this, you know that it's a male. So for now, we are going to operate on this male to remove the uh, spam, which we are going to use to do uh, spamming for the uh, eggs we have already removed. So I hope uh, you watch it and uh, enjoy the video. So uh, I want you to keep watching until we finish this process. So um, before we start, you have to have your razor and have your uh, tissue paper, tissue paper ready and your razor. So because this is the razor you are going to use for the operation and uh, this is how we are going to operate it. After you remove the razor and you are holding it like this, then you... So the next thing you do, you work the stomach, then you use the razor to cut the stomach open, cut it, cut it out to the spam up to the genital okay so now watch how uh, we remove the spam from the stomach this is all the process you have to go before you be able to hash a fish so watch it very well okay now this is one of the spam okay this is one of the spam as soon as we remove it you have to clean it with the tissue clean it with the tissue just like this so we are going to remove the second one because we always two inside so this is the second one We are also going to clean them smoothly like the way we clean the other one. Okay. Just cleaning it. Cleaning it. Good. Why? For now, we don't do, we don't sew it back. We, we leave them to die, as we we have already removed the, uh, this, uh, the spam. All we're going to do is just to kill them for meat, because we don't do operation. Some people they can still do sew it back and wait for months for it to. For the spam to come back again, but we don't do it like that. We kill them as soon as we remove the spam, that is all for them. So you can see how the spam looks now, as how it looks. So we are going to cut the spam off, cut it inside the uh, eggs, inside the eggs we have for them to mix with the eggs now this is the eggs here yeah. this is the spam look at how we cut it to mix it with the eggs
just gently apply it and make sure you allow it to go round round the eggs you could get the eggs I'm cutting this second one applying the second one after this then what you have to do is you have to use a hand to turn turn it so that you can touch all the eggs turn it very well turn it very well turn it very well just turn it very well turn it very well so after you turn it then you apply the water Put the, you apply water just like this just like this Just like this, then you turn it again with your spoon. With your spoon. You turn it very well so that the eggs will touch all. So that the spam will touch all the eggs to fertilize it. So after you finish, you are you by this time you might have uh, on your hash ray putting the nets, uh, which I did not show you how to make the net. Uh, so I just want to show you. Truly, I did not show you how to sew the nets, but um, in the next video, I'm going to show you that. In the next video, I'm going to show you that. So, now we are going to apply, apply the, uh, put the eggs. Now we are going to put the eggs, that's how you are going to put them. Hash right. I'm hashing this one outside just to because I want to teach you how teach you for you to see everything clearly. So that's why I'm hashing it outside, I'm putting on my hash rate right outside. So that's how you apply it. You apply the eggs inside the water on top of a net which you make, and this is how they design the net. This is how they, they design the net. You can sew the net, you can gum the net. But that, that will be shown to you in the next episode, not now. Because I have already made this net a long time ago. So I've been using it for the fashion. Because as soon as I finish, I wash the eggs and put it on the sun. Remove all the jams. So that's how I used to do the net for it to be preserved for next uh, half. Day. So after you apply, after you put the eggs inside, put all the net inside, you use water to rinse some of the eggs that are left inside the bowl. Okay, when you finish. This is uh, how you can do it. As soon as you finish, you allow it here up to 24 hours. 
and uh, you make sure you put uh, put the water to be flowing little by little just like this put the water to flow just like this the water should be flowing little by little mm. the water should be flowing for them this is what uh, flowing to this is flowing to when it flows it goes out from this this area so okay, I will leave it here up to 24 hours to see that the eggs are all all uh, hatched within 24 hours they will, they will hatch and they will have the fingerlings uh, the process of the fingerlings take about uh, 6 weeks from from 24 hours is going to hatch because they are, they are very small they are small very small you can imagine how the eggs look like very tiny so with this tiny uh, we start feeding them with uh, Start feeding them as soon as you start feeding them little by little because this time around you don't eat anything you make sure you don't get the water you start feeding them little by little and uh, well, within six weeks they go to a king and size although some may be bigger than each other but that's how it is but when they just to that stage I will show you how the cylinder and how it's solved. So I hope you enjoy the video. So uh, I hope you enjoy the video. I will advise you if you have not subscribed to us, I will advise you to subscribe. To press the subscribe button and the notification button. Just in case if you uh, uh, upload another video, you can notify you that you have uploaded a video. So, uh, Thank <laughs> you.